Hey everyone, this is Ryan Share here with PC DJ Karaoke, the latest edition. Uh, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you enter singers. There are a couple different ways you can accomplish this, and I'll show you both ways. Um, first thing I did is I started a new show. Uh, karaoke will allow you to create different shows, um, which will have their own singer history. Of course, you can also import a singer from another show, which will also import their singer history. We'll cover that in another video. But you can start a new show by right-clicking in the singer's rotation list area over here and select new show. At that point, if you had a previous show already loaded, it will ask you if you want to save it, which you probably will. And then you can start a new show. It'll also ask you if you want to label it. Uh, so here we go. We're just going to show you how to enter in singers a couple different ways, as I said. Here at the bottom of Karaoke, between your BGM button, uh, which is the background music player, and your history button, is the singer data button. If you click this, you can choose new. Now at this point, it will show you every singer you've ever worked with at any show. So you can import them right on this screen uh, into this show. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're going to start with somebody new. Um, Bob Karaoke. So here's Bob Karaoke. As you can see, when you enter him, he's already going to have uh, was already going to be sent uh, to the rotation screen here. Obviously, he has no songs, uh, so the next step would be adding songs. So Bob's in here. Um, from this screen, you can also enter in Bob's contact info, which is handy if you ever want to uh, update your um, singers on when your next event is and everything else. You can obviously email them if you've got their contact info in here. You can even put their phone number and note what venue... Uh, Bob likes to attend. Uh, you can even make comments in this screen if you want to, uh, you know, if Bob usually sings in a certain key or, you know, a certain song you wants keyed up or down, you can make a note here uh, so you can remember it. Of course, uh, karaoke will automatically track uh, any key changes you've made on a song for Bob uh, and that will be stored in a singer history. So if you load from a singer history back to the rotation list, it will maintain that uh, key change when you load it to the deck. Uh, so that's one way to enter a singer, is from the singer data screen. And I'll show you, you know, once he's in the rotation list here, move this out a little bit, you can drag a song and drop it right on top of Bob. If you drop it on top of Bob, if there's multiple singers in this uh, add or select singer uh, dialog box here, um, when you drop it right on top of his name, it'll always come up with him highlighted. So it's a little quicker, so usually you just drag it, if you drop it on top of the singer's name, all you have to do is hit OK. And now Bob has a song in his rotation. And I'll just show you for the sake of this uh, demonstration here. Take another song, drop it on top of Bob, hit OK. So now you see that Bob has two songs in his uh, queue. If I double click Bob's name, it brings up Bob's um, rotation list. And of course here you can actually rearrange the songs which will automatically uh, change it in rotation. You can also, if Bob says, you know what, I don't want to sing. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving early. Uh, see ya. have to work early tomorrow. So at this point, you can take him out of rotation entirely. If I just click the in rotation button, Bob's no longer in rotation. So he's cleared out entirely. So that's one way to enter singers. That's kind of beforehand. That's through the singer data screen. The alternative method is on the fly while you're at your gig. Jane comes up. She wants to sing. Uh, well, she probably doesn't want to sing Rod Stewart, so we'll take something else here. We'll say Jennifer Lopez. Ain't it funny? Bring it over here. Jane Doe. And that's one way. So I simply drag, drag the song, and I did that kind of quick, so I'll just show you again. Just drag the song over to rotation, top of Jane's name. Hit OK. She's got two songs in, in a rotation. Uh, we'll show you another one. Say this is Jennifer. Whoa, look who just popped in, Jennifer Lopez. So we'll put her in over here. So that's it. You just drag it over, type in their name. And the singers list will, will maintain rotation throughout the night. And if I was to uh, hit load next singer here for Jane, it'll play Jane's first song. Pull down this volume a little bit. And you'll see after uh, 20 seconds here. Jane moves to the bottom, 
Jennifer's up next. So that's it. And of course, if you want to enter in um, more details for Jennifer, instead of having to click the Singer Data button, since she's already in the rotation list area, you can just double click her name and enter in her contact details. Wouldn't we love that? All right. So, and of course, from this screen too, you can also apply key key changes. You know, I can key up or down the song beforehand. So when it is um, loaded into the deck, the deck will automatically adjust key. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, I may cover a little bit more when it comes to importing singers from other shows uh, in our next video. Uh, but that's your karaoke tip for this week. Thanks.